Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. Central Bank Governor Ali Alek is at the center of significant changes within the Iraqi banking system, and the situation is evolving rapidly. There's a lot to unpack regarding Alalak's position and the broader implications for Iraq's financial land escape. Speculation has been swirling, with some rumors suggesting that Alalak's tenure as central bank governor might be coming to an end. However, the reality appears to be more complex and tied to a series of developments that have been brewing for nearly a year. Recent restrictions placed on Iraqi banks and increased U.S. oversight have raised questions. Notably, the U.S. has taken a substantial step by occupying an entire floor in the Central Bank of Iraq. This move indicates a deeper level of engagement and scrutiny over Iraq's financial system. The implications of such oversight extend to various aspects of the economy, including technical issues affecting the dinar rate. According to reports from the Guru community, a technical glitch had disrupted the display of live exchange rates yesterday. This issue is expected to be resolved soon, potentially leading to significant changes in Iraq's financial environment. Governor Alalek addressed these concerns in an urgent press interview clarifying that there are no current plans to alter the dollar exchange rate. Despite the turbulence, he reassured that the central bank's transformation efforts are on track with the state's general budget. Alec remains confident in the bank's strategies and their potential to address the economic challenges facing Iraq. Key developments include the central bank's initiatives to modernize and stabilize the economy. One of the major steps involves reforming foreign trade procedures, which now include engaging with international institutions for the first time. This initiative also includes the launch of a new audit mechanism for foreign exchange trading to enhance transparency and efficiency. In addition, the central bank is expanding its currency channels to include Chinese, Turkish, Indian, and Emirati currencies. This move reflects a strategic push to diversify and fortify Iraq's global financial connections. There are also scheduled meetings in New York at the end of August to discuss lifting sanctions on banks and overhauling transfer operations. These discussions are crucial as they could pave the way for greater financial integration and reduce barriers that have historically impeded Iraq's economic progress. Moreover, the government is planning to increase capital support for the real estate bank and housing fund to address Iraq's significant housing deficit. However, the implementation of these budget allocations remains pending, and how effectively they are executed will be a key factor in determining their impact. For those closely monitoring the Iraqi dinar, these updates are vital. The stability of the dollar exchange rate and the ongoing transformations within the central bank could profoundly affect Iraq's economy and your investments. The central bank's efforts to regulate foreign trade and stabilize the financial system show a commitment to long-term growth and stability. Nevertheless, there are significant challenges ahead and the public's confidence in these changes will be crucial for their success. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these developments. Do you believe these changes will lead to a brighter economic future for Iraq? Are you optimistic about the stability of the dinar? Drop your comments below to join the conversation. If you found this update helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analyses and discussions. Your support enables us to continue providing the latest and most accurate information on the Iraqi dinar.